Hi guys, and welcome to this two minute coaching tip, which is designed to help the players that you coach become more developed players, improve their game understanding, and help improve your effectiveness as a coach. Tonight we're gonna to be talking about how you can session plan to focus on your own improvements, as well as that of your players. Now normally, when we write a session plan, we'll put our diagrams on, we'll put on the learning objectives for the players, as well as the progressions to make sure the practice is becoming harder uh, and challenging the players appropriately. Over the past few weeks, an additional thing I've been doing on the back of my session plans is writing three or four focus points for myself as a coach to make sure that I'm focusing on to improve my performance during the sessions. This came about due to a session I ran about three or four weeks ago where I let my frustrations get the better of me and I didn't coach the way I want to be coaching going forward. I was a little bit angry with the players. I I was commentating a little bit, bit too much. I didn't step back and take a moment to think and just observe as to what was happening and why it was happening. So over the past three sessions, I've written down four points. For example, tonight, my focus is to make sure there's minimal interventions, that we get the practice up and running quickly, that I'm speaking to the players as individuals in terms of little technical improvements they make because there's going to be a lot of passing and receiving going on as well as making sure that for the last 15 minutes at least it's free play where it's going to be a regular game and I don't have to step in and there's three reasons why I believe this is, is important number one it helps you develop as a coach we haven't always got someone watching us telling us what we can improve on and what we did well so we have to self-evaluate and this is a great way of doing it Number two, it gives us some pointers to review our performance against at the end of a session. If I want to focus on the three things that I mentioned earlier, I can look back and say, yes, I did that well. It's something I need to improve on, etc., etc. And finally, it helps keep ourselves honest. I think we've all been in that uh, mindset when we've run a session and, uh, and it hasn't gone well. And our first thought is to look at what the players could have done better. I know I've been doing this for 17 years. I know I've done it in the past and I probably still do it a little bit too much now. By putting these pointers down, it helps me focus on my performance first. Because that's the one thing I can really control. Give it a go. Let us know how you get on. And leave any thoughts you have in the comments section below.